Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have um, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just really give you an uplift or a good vibe, um, please go ahead, give a thumbs up and share. It will be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's strengthened by the storm. So powerful you became the storm. Others will understand why storms were named after people. <laughs> it was like when I seen that well I think I said that in a video a couple of days back I can't remember because we'll be doing so many daggone videos and it was just like um I screenshot it um a thumbnail that I had or a post that I had was like I, I can destroy you you know it was just like I can destroy you and it was talking about how life is destroying you it's destroying you know uh what you thought life should be what you thought was the truth what you thought what you are learning is what you need to learn. All these different things like I can destroy you. And it's like when when build you back up and all these different things, you're going to understand why storms was named after people. You are powerful. You are really powerful. There will be different times that you've gone into your life and not realize it subconsciously or unsubconsciously where we don't realize we're forming ourselves in that victim victimizing ourselves like you know i went through this i went through that and it's like yeah you did you know it's not saying that you didn't go through that but it's just like don't allow the things that you have gone through to you know you're feeding that you know feeding that to be who you are what you do what you're defined you are the person that overcomes the situation you've been placed in you know, you have been that one who, you know, that overcomes that entitlement of what people place you to be. You know, a lot of times people put this mask on you on how they want to see you. It's how you see yourself. If you know you're moving in power, you're moving in your light, you're not dimming it for nobody, being very unapologetic, there are going to be people that is going to admire you. There's going to be people that are going to be inspired by you. But there's also going to be people out there that's going to be very intimidated by you, fear you, hate you because of that. And you have to understand there's a lot of things that we go through in life that we would not wish on our worst enemy. And you may have a lot of them. Okay. You, there will be different things where, you know, uh, you've been shot down a lot. You know, go through different things where people tell you you're weak, you're sorry. You know, just all kind of negative narratives putting on your life. And it's just like, there's sometimes it's sad because you, you can hear that so much that you got programmed to make you feel like that's what your life is about. And it'll get to that point. Where you have to be able to discover how are you going to put your meeting to life how it truly is. Because it is, it's like these things that you go through that, you know, that it, it can really put you, put you in a very bad place. It can put you in a very dark place, you know. And there are some times where you have to look at all the things that was sent to destroy you is something that re help you re reinvent yourself. And not realize that the people that broke you down. God is going to use your situation to build you right back up in front of the people that brought you down. You know, uh, made you second guess yourself and to the point where you stepped in a whole new mood of your own power. And it's just like, I needed you to do that because it showed me of so much of what I'm not. And it allowed me to look in the mirror and really love who I see and be able to understand. Yeah, I might not be, you know, uh, my trauma done built me up to be, you know, a certain way. You know, it's like with my situation, I gained a lot of weight. I went through a lot of depression. I went through nervous breakdowns back to back to back and went through a lot of emotional eating. You know, when I first started my videos, I was like really small. It was like emaciated compared to what I am now, you know, and not feeling shame about the different things that I've gone through because it was just like that was a lot to deal with. You know, I self-medicated a lot. And, you know, I had no, you know, it wasn't about something to brag about because it's not something to brag about. It wasn't funny. It wasn't to get attention. But it was like the pain that I went through for me to have to endure that and, and really allow myself to sit with it. It was like 
I know how I am. I know how volatile I can be. I know very hoodish I can be. If I really got there, let, let me go have a drink or two or three or four. Or let me go, you know, hit the herb two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten a day. You know, or different things like that. And it had to that point where I couldn't allow myself to keep, you know, allow myself to keep feeding myself through that, through numbing my pain when I know I had to face that pain. And that pain is a lot. You know, you got put in that storm. A lot of times we felt like the storm was there to drown us and it's clearing out. It's clearing out everything that you are not. It's clearing out, you know, what you thought you were. You know, clearing out the false narratives or the illusions when, when it's building up off of truth. You know, you're pulling off all the mask or what, you know, whatever mask that was put on you or you placed on yourself. It is creating a whole new version of you, you know, and there's all the times where they tell you, you got to keep, you know, you got to keep showing up for yourself. You can't sleep on yourself, can't give up on yourself. You can't talk, speak negative to yourself. All these different things, you know, keep showing up. You, you're going to be surprised at a person that you, you, that's been hidden for so long that was waiting for you. Like, I, you know, when I say that, I see like that higher self and that person that, you know, that person that was damaged, that person that just really went through the mud like many times. You, I mean, you got frequent fire miles to hell, you know, and they, they owe you about three or four daggone vacations, you know, and, and some hotel stay, you know, seven nights, seven days, you know, different stuff like that. And you're going through that. And then when you finally get to that person that you are nowhere near that person was here. And then when you finally get to that 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 person, that higher self, that new version of you, it's just like you went to graduation. You know, it's like anybody who has children that graduated from school, you know, you know that that you make you know make your parent proud. You know, because nowadays, you know, your children aren't even making it. You know, it's like you you're not safe anywhere. You know, but just to finally see see that you know as a high school dropout. You know, and seeing all my kids graduate from high school and no children. You know, my oldest daughter didn't have her baby until she was in college. You know, until she was like 21, 22, you know, um, age. And I was so proud of her. You know, every, every, all three of my girls that graduated, I cried. I mean, I ugly cried. I was so mad at my oldest daughter when she was like my last baby you know, graduated and she caught me crying. I was like, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> I was so mad about her. And then she posted it on social media. I was so mad at her. She's like, Mom, I told you I was gonna post it if you sit up here and cry. And I was like, You caught me when I was ugly crying. Like, you know, it was like, I was so mad at her. But then I can allow myself to say, Yeah, it was embarrassing because I didn't finish high school. But it was things that couldn't be helped, you know. So it, it was just like being able to see that, that what is that that rite of passage to being able to see my kids do something that I didn't do and being able to know I, I broke that you know because my mom had me at 16 and my dad was 18 I had my daughter at 16 and her dad was 18 and it, it was just like you know I prayed I was like oh god please let my kids pass the 16th mark because I'm not having I don't I'm no 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 and it wasn't about me being a hypocrite but I knew how hard my life was you know I sacrificed so much for my children I, I won't you know if I had to do it again I'll do it again you know I'm not ashamed of that and I would never you know try to rewrite that in history I don't mind because that's when I really sacrifice this for my kids you know and just being able to do that and it's just like when you look back on your life you know you, you go through a lot of things in life you may be stumbling you know just to be positive for a whole day and it's just like when you finally get to that whole day where you have laughed hard you know you have laughed so hard you you cried I know it was just like earlier I um I was looking for something on Instagram and then I hit it and it was this uh this singer named Case that um on his account and he showed this this girl coming out well I don't know if she was a lady or a girl she looked real young and it was this little girl like probably about two years old and she had an aluminum bat and you see in the in the content like I seen it happen and just for me telling that you already pretty much know what happened the girl came out the bathroom and what talking to the person on the couch the lady on the couch that little girl swung that bat and hit the kneecaps and I was like Yo, walk it off, walk it off. And you see her, she, she fighting the air. That's how bad it hurt. And then she walk it off, and I'm like, I'm trying not to laugh. 
because they ain't funny because I felt that pain. But I was more laughing because the girl walked it off and she was swinging the air like she couldn't hit the little baby because, you know, she a little girl. Like, who the heck, everybody in the comments, like, who would give a child a metal bat in the house anyway and then stand that close? You know, because she's swinging it. And the little boy was like, oh, are you okay? I saw it. And, you know, and I'm just like, y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right for posting this. But it was just like feeling that. You know, feeling that cry. But, it, you know, you're going through so many different things uh, in life. And you're going through so much. And it, it's just like sometimes you can see it coming and sometimes you can't. But when you can allow yourself to really look and see how far you have come, there will be different things that you have gone through that, you know, you could have gone through some stuff. And the stuff that you have gone through and you came out okay <laughs> you know, and that, I mean, that's the, that's the best way you can say I came out okay. You know, I may have been a little bit deflected, you know, you know, maybe in a case 22, you know, whatever. But I didn't go to jail. I, I didn't kill nobody. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. You know, and then if you see a situation that's similar to yours where it didn't end well for people, you know, they may have not been here anymore they're not in their existence they're in the you know in their upper room you know or they don't took somebody else to the upper room they don't spilled up their appointment to go in you know or something like that and you have to really be able to look at how many things you have gone through that is death defined like you you probably you know what is it nde you know you'd experience those a lot of times but yet you're still here you know and and going through those different things it's telling you you are you are you are you are a powerhouse. You really are. You're enough. You matter. You hold a purpose here, and those different things. The heck! Hold on, just a minute, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, you know, you have gone through different things in life, and it's just like sometimes you can question if you have the strength or you have the patience or you have the confidence in yourself and universe will tell, tell you to take a hard look you know at so many different things that you have overcome there will be different things that you have faced that many people didn't have the courage to face you have been, you have had so many di different things that was sent into your life to destroy you and yet you're still here you know and a lot of times we can go through things depending on what it is and it's just like you know I've been in that vibe like I didn't ask that I didn't I don't care to be here you know it got that bad with my, my life but you know I had to get to that point to where if I'm still here there's a purpose for that you know I don't need to you know uh, speed up that process when God ain't ready for me yet you know I've had too many near-death experiences for you know uh, for me to still be here you know cause it'll be different times <laughs> some people like girl you don't went through this how are you still living I don't know I question that myself, you know, how, you know, still be in my right mind and, and all those other things. But it's just like, you you are a storm within a storm. You, I mean, it's just your vibration can probably create fire, water, and rain. You know, if you could, shoot, it's like with us being earth impact, you are earth impact. It's like even your mood, you know, your energy is so powerful that you can, you can make the weather change. If you ever notice, there'll be different days that you're probably sad and gloomy and all of a sudden it's raining you get upset it could be thunderstorming you know you you feel a little bit hot today next to you know it, it feels like death outside you know be angry and next thing you know it'll be cold you cold as ice you know so it, it'll be different things well you're understanding and even you know there'll be different like I said it'll be different things that you know how people to probably took pleasure out of breaking you down and it'll be like God will use your exact experience just to be able to build you right in front of the people that broke you down. You know, you'll be spiritually, you know, emotionally, mentally, you know, strengthened by people that made you weak in all those areas. You know, so allow yourself to know you are a storm within itself. You got the power to overcome anything that you face. It may take a minute. It may take you a little bit longer, but you'll face it and you'll overcome that. So don't ever allow somebody to, you know, make you feel like you're less than, you know, pill, you know, be around people that know your worth. You don't have to prove it. Prove your worth to them. They'll already feel that and know that within you, you're a genuine person. Don't deal with people that make you feel less than, you know, allow people to recognize your worth. 
So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Um, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And um, it's all about spiritual networking, you know, being able to connect, give you, you know, help you have a deeper understanding about your path of purpose, you know, why certain things happen, why you're at where you're at, you know, what, what certain things that we go through. I love to be able to help out with that because it's like we're all learning and, you know, helping each other heal through con connections like that, spiritual connections like that. Um, and I like to be able to help out that way. You know, I try my best as I can to be able to do that, to assist. And whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, if you're ever interested in podcasting, I do that as well. You know, I keep, you know, I keep my podcast on my community section of my, my page of my account, whatever you want to call it, page, account, channel, whatever. You know, I leave those on there as well. If you're interested in podcasting, you know, I'm hooked up on, a, on an awesome app you know for that so if you would love to do that please you know let me know you know hit up hit me up email dm whatever you know if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation the cap cash app is there as well um whatever you are trying to manifest into your life you know i'm sending so many different vibes on whatever you're needing stay consistent with yourself you know things may be looking bad keep going you know things may be feeling like it's going against you keep going you know, you might have a lot of people down your throat. Keep going. You know, the devil, the devil keeps it, keeps you going when he can see something very good into you that he don't want you to see. So stay consistent and persistent. Don't sleep on yourself. Stay very woke. You know, and it's just like keep at it. Keep going all the way at it. Don't half half it. Don't half ass it. <laughs> Go full fledged. You know, keep going. You know, regardless if you don't feel like you're being recognized, keep going. You never know. Your, your whole situation can turn around in the blink of an eye. God can make it happen just like that. So keep going. Stay persistent and consistent. Stay motivated and determined. And it will be for you. Um, have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible every single thing you do. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know. All those things will really take you a long way. And... Um, I hope you have a blessed, productive, positive week. And much love to you. Peace. Namaste. I say shalom. God bless. Much love. Later.